Hello everyone, happy Sunday to you and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and today I will be sharing with you a very, very nice two piece lounge set that I made and I'm also going to be sharing with you a third me made as a bonus. This video is in collaboration with my beautiful friend Martika of Martika J Makes and she also made the same two piece lounge set but with different fabric of course and Martika she's just so sweet and she is very valuable in the sewing community at least to me i feel like she brings a lot of value and she has a great a, a lot of great content on her channel and she does a lot of things like sewing high in on a budget type videos and series and things like that so she's definitely in my opinion worth watching so please make sure that you go over to her channel after you watch my video to see her look and hear about her experience while making it and subscribe to her channel if you have not done so already and as far as this video just like the majority of all of my makes I will have a full detailed pattern review on my blog so I will link to that in the description box below if you prefer blogs and like to see bigger photos and I will also pin the link to the blog in the comments okay so let's go ahead and get started so I can give you all the details of this pattern because in my opinion it is definitely a must-have. Martika and I had set out to collaborate a while ago and we actually chose a dress pattern. It was a newer dress pattern by McCall's but as time went on we thought about what do we really need in our wardrobe like at that particular moment and we decided to go with a lounge set this pattern in particular had not been out very long and we both had this pattern in our stash and we knew that we really wanted to make it and this is simplicity 9857 and that is what we made okay the pattern description reads stylish and comfy elevate your lounge wear with this matching set and i can agree that this set is very elevated as a lounge set and it is very comfortable and I love it okay I love it this set includes a knit button front cardigan and for me it's a cropped cardigan because it's not your normal length and it also includes a bralette and the pair of pants we made view a which is the cropped cardigan and view c which are the pants I found this to be the perfect set because it is good for transitioning from winter into the early spring like we are right now and late summer into the fall and fall into winter you know so for me it's just ideal because i have all four seasons even in the summer on a rainy day this would be great okay now here where i am locally in indiana it is still cold outside like I went outside yesterday and there was ice on the windows because it had been raining ice okay so we're still getting a little snow and a little ice type of weather and so that would have been perfect for yesterday now today I went to the outlet mall that is right on Lake Michigan like literally if the buildings were not right where they were you could look over and see the whole lake michigan okay which means it's even cooler right there at the outlet mall because of the water and i wore this after i took my pictures um and to the outlet mall because i went and picked up the boys some more shoes and i felt fine i felt perfectly fine because of the coverage with this being a cardigan and covering my arms and my legs and just the warmth of the fabric and everything so this was great now the one thing you may have noticed when i put the pattern on the screen is that it says that it is easy to sew yes this is very easy to sew especially the pants because it's just like elasticated waist pockets front and back and if you don't want to do the pockets you don't have to and that makes it even easier if you have not sewn buttonholes yet that part on the cardigan may be the most difficult part for you but you don't have to make the buttonholes okay and you 
would still have the same look it just wouldn't have the buttons because you can always wear it open right and it like I said it honestly just looks the same way the day that I was finishing the cardigan I went to Joann's because I didn't have three buttons in my stash that I preferred for this look which is the the wooden button look and I didn't feel like um, taking the outfit off because I was trying it on and things and so I just went to Joann's without the buttons and like I said it didn't look unfinished or anything so yes that is an option if you are not comfortable with that yet or if you just don't know how so you could still definitely sew the look so the pants like I said are easy um, because it just has the front and back regular inseam pockets so no fancy type of pockets and a casing and you will sew on the casing that goes onto the pants separately and I personally like that better when there's a separate pattern piece for the casing that you just you know you sew and connect it to the pants because I feel like it makes the finish look a little bit better overall and to be honest I feel like it feels better on my body maybe that's really what it is I don't know if it necessarily looks better but it feels better for me so yeah I definitely prefer the casing separate from that garment versus like that fold over method when you're just folding the fabric over you know and then you're making a casing that way by stitching the extra fabric down so that's just my preferred method now the cardigan only has like the front a back the sleeves the back facing and the front facing so only five pattern pieces for that and that's one of the reasons why it's really easy now when you look hard at my sleeves and I can show you right here you may wonder why it looks like I have a cuff and if there's no pattern piece for it why do I have one well let me tell you why so I had purchased three or four yards of this fabric uh, from Joann's a while ago back in the fall and I made a new look dress and it was actually new look six seven four zero I absolutely loved the look okay love the look of the dress but there was a serious serious pattern error and it was too tight across the back of my side of me and on my hips and because of the style of it I just couldn't fix it and it just didn't look the same like I, yeah I, I tried to fix it and it just didn't look the same I didn't want to leave it as a top after cutting the band off because it just didn't look right it just looked super boxy and the only way to fix that would be putting a band on it and it was just too tight on my stomach again and so I, I just I couldn't use it so I decided to leave it as is until I found a way to use it and that was with this pattern so I used the front and the back of this dress and I was able to get all but four or five inches of the sleeve pattern cut out from it okay and I used the sleeves of the dress to cut out the facings and the cuffs that I made so I am very happy that I was able to actually use the fabric to make another garment and have absolutely no usable fabric left out of the yardage at all as a matter of fact this little bit right here is all I have left of that fabric cut so win-win for me I was patient and I was able to utilize this and nothing went to waste and this let me tell you this fabric this fabric was expensive and I got a lot of it so yeah I was I was pretty perturbed about that and I know oh make a muslin you know I I do sometimes but most of the time I don't because I don't I just don't like doing it so anyway I was happy to but to be able to correct that and use that fabric for something else so yes the fabric came from Joanne fabrics and the description of this actual fabric is a uh, cream sweater rib knit and I will link to it below even though 
I know we're, you know, in spring and you may not want to wear this for long or at all, depending on where you live. But I will say that it is on sale at a door buster price because I looked it up and you may want to make something with it later on when the seasons start changing again because this is some good, this is some good stuff. Back to the pattern. So this pattern comes in size extra small through extra extra large and I cut a large for both the cardigan and the pants. The cardigan is supposed to fit a little loose so I cut a size large because the finished bust measurements for the large is 47 and a half inches and my bust is in even 45 inches so that gave me two and a half inches of ease and um you know, I just feel like that was enough for me to kind of get that loose fit without it being too loose. And the finished measurements for the hips and the large for the pants is 44 and a half inches and my hips are 45 inches even. Um, I didn't want to go down in size because the next size down would have been 43 inches and I didn't want to take that chance of, you know, not being having enough stretch in the fabric to get those extra two inches back. And you know, I just didn't want it to be too tight and I certainly didn't want them any larger than what they should be and, and start hanging and drooping and sagging. I don't like that look either because I would take the elevated type of look away from it to just looking baggy. Um, so yeah, that's why I went with the large. And I think, you know, I think even though I didn't want it to be too tight now after wearing this size large, like my, like I said, my hips are, are 45 uh, even, um, maybe going down to the 43 and a half wouldn't be so bad because I think it may run just a, a little bit big, could be me. I don't really know. Um, but I am okay with the size large that I cut. Um, the only alteration that I made was the cuff area and that was due to not having enough length on the fabric that I cut um, for the sleeve. And in the photos, you may have noticed that the bottom of my pants are not him. And that is because I totally forgot. That wasn't an alteration that I preferred. I just totally forgot. I went to put uh, the pants on to take, you know, so that I can go take my photos. And I saw it and I was like, dang. I saw the surged edges and you know what? I just had to put it on because I didn't have enough time to put the hems in it, you know, to make sure that I got to the spot to take the pictures before the sun would start going down. But I will tell you that I will be hemming them after I wash them because they are dragging the floor. Okay. And because I went shopping after I took the photos at the outlet mall, they're dirty. <laughs> they're very dirty, especially with them being cream. So I say that to say, make sure that you hem your pants appropriately to your liking because they are longer, you know, and I think that's the look they were going for, but uh, they will drag the floor if you don't. Now, maybe if I cut the medium, they wouldn't be dragging as much, but the look on the photo is giving, you know, floor. <laughs> So the one suggestion that I would make that I forgot to do is I forgot to measure my inseam. So I would suggest that you do. I don't make pants that often. So I always forget to do that step. And I do think that my inseam hangs a little low, but because I do wear like skirts and my pants is high waisted, I don't think it looks bad. And you know, I can always take it up, but if that's the thing for you, just, you know, just make sure that you don't forget to do that so that it can fit you in the best possible way. Now, for my pairings, I did pair my two-piece set with an easy top that I made while I was at the sewing retreat in Texas with a fabric that I purchased while we were on our fabric shopping trip excursion. And I'm just going to give you a little teaser on this pattern. And I'm just going to tell you that it's only two pattern pieces super easy to sew and I'll share the details with you in another video that's going to be coming up soon because I have made more than one of these and there were different type of knit fabrics and I want to show you the difference and share those details all in one video so be on the lookout okay but I absolutely love this little Louis Vuitton fabric okay <laughs> and you know I think that absolutely help to elevate the look as well. <laughs> so I also paired my gold hoops 
same gold hoops um, and my cork wristlet that I made and my ballet shoes that are about this color now I really would have preferred my sneakers but I forgot to wear them actually you know what I got high heel dickies I should have wore with these I totally forgot about that but anyway <laughs> yeah that's what I wore and that's the reason why so now I will enter photos and twirls of me in my two-piece elevated lounge set All right, so that is it for this two-piece lounge set. This is truly, truly, truly a gem to sew up and definitely a pattern that will be made again by me. Please let me know what your thoughts are about this pattern and this set and make sure that you go over to Martika's channel to see her set now that you have finished this video. And please make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like this set, if you learned something or whatever the case, Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already so that you can be notified of future videos. Thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and I will see you in the next one. Bye!